my heartfelt congratulations to you graduating seniors as you complete your studies in one of the most challenging times we've ever experienced, at least during my lifetime. I've been impressed with the innovation that Fairview schools have shown during this COVID-19 crisis as your teachers went from being a full-time classroom to basically online learning teachers, but they had the help of your impressive learning management system, B-Ed, very impressive. Your test results showed that you really didn't skip a beat and 80% of your parents were confident enough that you all did well in adapting to online learning. The fact that 100% of you scored 31 or higher on your IB diploma puts you above the IB average worldwide. And your average score of 37.3 in 2020 puts Fairview in the top 50 global IB diploma program schools. Now these results were not caused solely by, due to the bright and capable students that you all are, but speaks to the quality of your teachers and your school overall. The ISC's International School Awards announced that your teachers and your school were the winners of their Teaching and Learning Award, and that your principal, Dr. Vincent, was recently awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award for Educational Excellence. I believe that you are among the very few of today's top students who have aimed high from a surprisingly early age. Think about it. Aspirational teenagers like you were, when you were just 15 or 16, they're already planning their way to the top universities and a future career with the big name multinational corporations. This is particularly true for students from Malaysia, but also other Asian countries who make it their priority to achieve their full potential in school and in preparation for the best university and career opportunities. Your parents' choice of an IB International School in this case uh, set the expectation for you from a very early age. Your parents were very wise to provide you with this opportunity to study an international curriculum and become a global citizen. They know that in today's world you need more than just academic knowledge. You also need language and life skills to be successful anywhere. This is what will give you your competitive advantage. You and your competitive peers are now the ones setting the bar for both aspiration and achievement. But always be humble. Have the wisdom to recognize the best in others while always demanding the best from yourself. All of you are now headed for university which is a good time to set goals and devise a plan. Remember, failing to plan is planning to fail. You need a roadmap, but be prepared for unintended detours, confusing signs and closed roads. Don't be afraid or unwilling to change. Enjoy the journey wherever it takes you because it's your life. Be prepared to occasionally fail because that's what successful people do. They learn from it, they grow from it and they take action from that learning. I know that COVID has meant that graduation looks a little different for you than you expected, but the achievement is still there. You've put in the same hard work and you've learned and grown from the experience. So congratulations on your well-deserved success and best of luck to you on your journey going forward. Welcome everyone. My name is Ms. Shirley, your MC for today's event. Today's talk is brought to you by Fairview International School under our Breakthrough Series. Before we begin, I would like to explain about meeting etiquette. First of all, join the meeting. Secondly, we will appreciate it if you could mute your microphone. We hope this would give you a better Breakthrough Series experience. Thirdly, please pay attention to the presenter. Next, should you have any questions, please type them in the chat box and our team will address them later. Lastly, when you are called, you may unmute yourself and start talking. We would like to thank each and every one of you for following and observing meeting etiquette. We are proud to feature our student, Lim Kelgin of Fairview, Malaysia. He is courageously stepping forward to share his knowledge 
and skills about podcasting. The highlights of the talk are, as IB students of Fairview International School, our students show curiosity, apply critical thinking, and strive to find solutions to the problems. Today, he will showcase his techniques and share his podcast journey. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Liam Kaljin of Fairview International School, Subang Jaya Campus, in his third year of Fairview's Meter Yield program. Thank you very much, Ms. Shelley. I am Ms. T. I am the principal for Fairview International School, Subang. I would like to walk. Welcome all of you to attend Kyle Jean's podcast Breakthrough Talk this evening. And I would like to also introduce our principal from Fairview International School, Kuala Lumpur, Dr. Vincent. And also, hi. hi. <laughs> Thank you for attending these sessions together with us. And we also have Ms. Cynthia, our MYP coordinator for Fairview International School, Subang Jaya Campus. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's talk. Hope you have a good time. And also, congratulations to Kaljin. We would like to officially now announce the opening of Kaljin's Breakthrough Talk this evening. Thank you. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, teachers and parents, welcome to Fairview's Breakthrough Talk. Today's topic is podcast, podcasting 101. My name is Kao Jin, and I shall be your presenter today. So just sit tight, grab some snacks if you want to, and enjoy the talk. Now, before I get into any podcasting info, let me share a short video regarding my journey in podcasting and how I slowly developed my podcast series. Let us enjoy this short video, shall we? Oh, hey, hi everybody. And I'm your host, Kelgin, of course. Welcome back to The Kelgin Show. A show that provides people with opinions, or inspirations, and ideas just for you. <laughs> Anyways, today we will be talking about drum roll, please. <laughs> yeah, oh, a really interesting story with you guys. It's about Kelgin show. <laughs> Why? No, come on. You can't do that. No, oh, it's so sad. So who cares? All right. <laughs> Ow! Oh, hey, hey, sorry, sorry. No. Boy, you got bimbo. No. How painful your life is. Protect me. me. Yes. No. Yes. No. no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Oh, yeah. No. Please. It's for the future. Kaujin. Kaujin. Kelgin, wake what? up! What? Oh, 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 wait. Ah. It's a natural right for humans to have opinions. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, well, that's all for today. I hope uh, that this episode managed to give you some new inspirations, opinions, or ideas. And as always, see you, see you next time on The Kelgin Show. Let's give you a round of applause. Right, so uh, that was basically my uh, podcasting journey. All right, uh, so uh, currently all of these podcast videos, I have uh, a few podcast videos that, all right. So currently all of these podcast videos are all on my YouTube channel. And for those who want to subscribe to me on my YouTube and check out my videos, uh, here is the link right now down in the chat. All right. So yeah, just click onto that link and it should direct you to my YouTube channel. Okay, let's move on. 
Right. So um, now that you've seen my podcasting journey, I know that some of you will probably be thinking, why did you start podcasting? Well, to be honest, I never really had the intention to start a podcast. The only reason of why I started a podcast was due to a Falcon activity called podcast. The name kind of explains it all, but basically the activity required me to make a podcast uh, each week. So I did it. And through making these podcast videos, I uh, found out that I do like talking and sharing my opinions, thoughts, and ideas through a podcast. And I also found that I do indeed have the passion for podcasting. And that is why I decided to continue my podcast series even long after my Falcon activity has ended. Yep. And so that is basically how I got into podcasting. So do I think podcasting has helped me in any way? Do I personally think that it is beneficial for me? Yes, of course. Podcasting has allowed me to decrease my stress. It has allowed me to improve on my speaking skills as well as my video editing skills. But most importantly, podcasting has actually allowed me to become a happier person as well. As it allowed me to freely express my, myself, my opinions and my thoughts to the world. This is why I recommend every one of you to give podcasting a try. Trust me, it is really fun and insanely satisfying. I know that in this quarter, Fairview International School, Subang Jaya, is offering podcasts as one of the Falcon activities. I strongly recommend my friends here to register so that you can enjoy the benefits of podcasting yourself. And as for the rest of the audience, I do strongly suggest you guys to try out podcasting so that you may receive the benefits too. Right, so with all these benefits, let's dive into creating our podcast, shall we? Now, before you start recording, you will need to have an aim. Think of why you are creating this podcast. Do you want your podcast to influence people? Do you want your podcast to educate people? Or do you just want your podcast to make people laugh? Think about it. If you are to start a podcast, what would your aim be? Type your answer in the chat box right now. Now, to make your life easier, just refer to the slide and type in one, two, three, or if you have not identified an objective yet, you could just also type in four. All right, so I'm gonna give you five seconds right now uh, to type in your answer. Choose carefully. Your objective will affect each and every podcast episode. Pick an aim and team that you are passionate about so that you would commit to it in the long term. Okay, okay, I'm uh, looking at the chat right now. I see a lot of answers. Mm -hmm. Right, wow, yeah. So uh, I, I see a lot of people uh, are choosing number two to educate people, wow. Well, we have a lot of uh, mini teachers here. Huh? <laughs> mm, yes, okay, okay, very good. Let's move on, shall we? Great, you finally have an aim for your podcast. So what's next? Well, next is standing out. You have to stand out from others in order to attract people to your podcast. Here are three tips on standing out. First, try to wear clothes that suit you and make you look iconic. Try wearing jackets, suits, ties, and so on. For me, I prefer to wear a t-shirt and a jacket. It makes me look good, iconic, professional, yet casual and comfortable. Also, be confident when you speak. You can succeed in the podcast business only if you have confidence. Even if you are feeling nervous, act confident. All right, remember, you are only talking to a camera, not a person, not a crowd. So do not be afraid. Work on the tone on your, uh, please work on the tone of your voice. Make sure it sounds clear, natural, and intriguing. This will further make you stand out more and attract more viewers to your podcast. The third tip is to don't be boring, right? Just don't be. 
the last thing people want to see in a podcast is a boring and anti unenthusiastic podcaster that has no soul. Practice your smile, your body language, try to crack some jokes. All of this will make you stand out more and allow you to create a successful podcast. All right, perfect. You are getting noticed. So what do you do next? Okay, now that you have stood out from the crowd, it is time to write your script for your first podcast. Choose an interesting topic that you like. Any topic will be fine, as long as you find it interesting. Remember, this is your podcast. Nobody is going to restrict you on what you can say. However, offensive, illegal, and inappropriate topics are definitely best avoided for obvious reasons. Use your common sense, okay? <laughs> all right, keep your script short, all right? According to a published study from the researchers at the Technical University of Denmark, the collective global attention span is narrowing due to the amount of information that is presented to the public. The study shows that people now have more things to focus on, but often focus on things for a shorter period of time. People normally have an attention span of only around five to seven minutes. So based on this fact, I will recommend all of you to do a podcast that has a maximum time limit of five minutes only. All right. Five minutes only. No more. Like no more. Okay. Next, keep your script simple. Make it understandable and easy to read. This will be beneficial to you and your listeners. Adding on to this, you might as well have some fun while creating your script. Experiment with catchphrases. Use your creativity and try to relate those catchphrases to the topic that you are talking about. Now, I would like to ask a question to the audience. Do you think we should memorize the script before recording? Type yes or no in the chat box right now. All right, I'm going to give you five seconds again. One, two, three. A five. lot of our audience are saying no. Oh, mm -hmm. now we're saying yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. And Japan. But, but I mainly see a lot of uh, no's. And yeah, a lot of no's. Yes and no's. Okay. Somebody said yes and no. They can't make up their minds. <laughs> 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 well, for me, I, ne I would never, ever memorize my script. I would never, ever do that. You can, you can use a teleprompter on your screen if you like. This way, I save time and could concentrate more on doing research for the content of my podcast. Additionally, I realized that not memorizing a script makes me talk naturally. So yeah, never ever memorize the script. It's a waste of time. You do not need to do it. Right. So with your script ready, let's move on to the recording. Yay. Camera's out. Right, so yeah, cameras out, yeah? <laughs> right, so well, uh, well, our next step is to conduct the recording. Choose a quiet place to record your podcast. You can do some sort of like test recordings to check on the possible background noise. Choose a proper background. Make sure that it isn't too distracting. You want your viewers to focus on you and you only, not the view behind you. And be sure to use proper equipment. All right, a phone, cam a phone camera is usually good enough. If you have a mic, that will be great as it will improve the sound quality. But, but whatever you do, never ever use a webcam camera. The resolution of a webcam camera is always lower and it just makes your podcast look unprofessional. So never ever use it. Also, please do uh, position your camera so that it is right in front of your face, something like this, all right? Do not put it above or below your face, right? This ensures that the focus is on you. And um, this is also extremely useful for people who want to look slimmer. And mm -hmm. well, uh, the position also decreases the risk of showing your double chin. So yeah, please do take good note of this, yeah? <laughs> Also, uh, we will complete your setup by uh, placing your script somewhere near the camera so that you could refer to it or just simply read from it. Addition additionally, 
this will ensure that you have good eye contact with your camera as well. Right, so uh, here is an example of my setup. Uh, camera at the front, script nearby for reading, and a stand to ensure that my laptop and camera is strategically uh, positioned so that I look good throughout my video. Give this setup a try and record your first podcast. Good luck. Right, so once you have recorded your podcast, now comes the task of editing your video. You will want to edit it and make it into a full podcast episode. So for editing, you, you first need to transfer your uh, footage from your phone or camera to your video editing device. This could be done through various ways, but the common method is to utilize Google Drive or OneDrive. Next, select a good video editing software. I, will, I would like to ask the audience to share with me if they know, or if, uh, if they know any video editing software that are really good. So please do type your answers in the chat box right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, we the have most some teachers thing... with us here. They're using Filmora. Ah, I da see. DaVinci Resolve, fancy. So yeah, so before you type your answer, uh, the most important thing is to remember that you have to choose a video editing software that doesn't place you know, a watermark on your video, All right? Okay, I see. I see a lot of answers coming in. Uh, yes, there's iMovie, very good, very good. There's also um, Canva, okay. Wondershare, a few more, and Kind, 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 kind Master. Kind Master, yes. Kind Master. I believe that's uh, how it should be pronounced, yes. Uh, CapCut, okay, okay. Uh, okay. iMovies for those on Apple devices. Uh, TikTok, yeah, Mr. Azam, TikTok, huh? very good, very good. It seems like you're following on the trend. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, so personally, I would recommend iMovie from, uh, from Apple or Video Editor from Microsoft. And because those two are just generally really good video editing software that doesn't place a watermark on your video. So after editing, test out the effects, all right? Do not be afraid to experiment with the various effects offered in the software. Test them out to observe if they would make the video more interesting. All right, use the effects appropriately. Do, do not ever overdo it, all right? You do not need a video that has an effect every two seconds, all right? So I would recommend you to use effects only at important parts of the video, such as when you are summarizing a point or emphasizing about something. I would highly recommend you to use transitions as well. When you want to transit from your intro to the main part of your video, use a transition. There are many transitions that you could choose and they are all available in the video editing software. Using transitions will just make the overall video look nicer, better, smoother, and just outright cooler. If you also make your podcast look more professional, so be sure to use transitions. Oh, and before you finalize the video file, there is this one last step that people often miss out on. And that is to add background music. This will make sure that your podcast video is intriguing and interesting. Also, do use an appropriate background music. Now, I would like to ask the audience once again for their opinions. If the tone of the video is set, what kind of background music should I choose? Please type your answers in the chat box right now. All right. Again, five seconds. One, two, three, four, and a five. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what uh, answers did we receive. All right. So someone said uh, slow and slow them. Okay. Okay. Some people said classical music. Oh, wow. Ah, Good Mr. work. Ah, Mr. Martin, classical. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Some people did a okay. very ah, music, uh, yeah. academic integrity, Kelgin, non copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Non copyrighted. Who the hell said that? Oh, wow. Uh, Singran, yes. Good point. Non copyrighted music. Yes, that is very important. Oh, just Chinese a, a... opera. 
Would Chinese opera be sad? Wow. Can, can the person share with us? Would Chinese opera work? Hello, uh, Mr. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, Krista Kong Shirley. Yeah, could you please share with us what Chinese opera is? Yeah, please feel free to unmute your mic and share with us. Thank you. It's a very good idea. Right. Oh. Actually, I'm uh, Christopher Frater. The some Chinese opera, you know, is very sad, you know, like, you know, the Tai Lo Yifai. With the Arhu sound and all that, is it? Uh, I see, I see. Ah, yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Right, so just a quick tip, uh, additional tip for you, all of you, yeah. Uh, about the non-copyrighted music, you can find a lot of non-copyrighted music, basically music that is free to use on YouTube itself, all right? If you, you have to first create a YouTube account, and then uh, after you create a YouTube account, there will be a section in like your YouTube account that allows you to access, access a library full of free music. All right, that's always where I get my own music. So that's, that could be also the place of where you can get your free music as well. So please do check on that. Anyways, let's get back to here. Let's get, let's get back to the main topic, shall we? All right, so for me, uh, if the tone of the video is sad, then I will definitely have to use a sad music, a sad background music, all right? Definitely do not put one that is filled with joy and happiness. <laughs> it won't work. <laughs> Use your common sense and find a background music that suits the tone of the podcast video. All right, so after you've done all of that, all you have to do now is render the video. That's it. All right, good job on creating your first podcast video. The next big question is how do you share it with the world? Let's hear some ideas from the audience once again. <laughs> Type your input on this in the chat box below. Let's see what you guys have. All right, again, five seconds. One, two, three, a four, and a five. All right, let's see your answers. Okay, I see, I see a lot of uh, social media platforms. Yes, uh, YouTube, okay, TikTok, uh, Facebook, Instagram. Okay, really good. Um, any vlog website, okay, okay, Twitter, okay. Oh, Spotify, huh? Spot, I, uh, well, I, I actually wouldn't recommend Spotify because it's a uh, music sharing, uh, sharing website or app, so yeah, okay. So let's move on, shall we? Really? So many of our answers uh, focus on uploading the video onto the internet specifically social media platforms, which I entirely agree with. In the chat box, many of us have listed YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and many more. Well, well, honestly, as long as it can show your video to the world, then it is fine. I will recommend uploading the videos to more than one uh, social media platform so that you could increase the awareness of your podcast. Also, make sure to use social media platforms that you trust and are comfortable with. This will help with your security and decrease the risk of unnecessary problems. So let's move on. <laughs> okay, so you have set your objectives for your podcast. You have stood out from the crowd. You have wrote your script. You have recorded your footage and even edited it and uploaded it to the web for everyone to see. So what else is there to do? May I ask all of you, our dear audience, uh, what is that one last thing? Please type your answers in the chat box. Again, five seconds. Come on, the clock is ticking. One, two, three, four, and a, uh, and a five. Yes, all right, let's see, let's see. Ah, so uh, someone's here say upload it. Uh, yeah, Singran, I already talked about uploading. Come on. <laughs> All right, and there's like and share. Okay, okay. Um, pretty typical. Um, there's copyright. Share. Uh, oh, yeah. Typical and answers. Yeah, and there's also uh, copywriting. Mm, okay, okay. I think there was uh, one person who kind of like had the correct idea. 
actually they I, uh, I believe there are two there's uh, two, yes yeah there's Mr Bon Lim and there's also uh, Mr Kumar if, yeah if he's a Mr <laughs> so, yes yeah. yes Mr Kumar correct yes there's also Mr Kumar and uh, and uh, Mr Bon Lim yes they they say review well okay let me give you a hint as an IB student we always do this and it is one of our IB learner profiles can anyone guess what is that one thing now Children right. got it correct. Congratulations. Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> Very good. You got it correct. The correct answer to that particular question is indeed reflection. All right. Yep. You need to reflect. We learned this in Fairview International School, as this is very important in developing us as an IB learner. This applies to everything we do. Reflect evaluate and improve check the feedback that you receive reflect on the feedback and use it to improve your podcast you should also rewatch your own podcast and brainstorm on what you could change or improvise on to make it better you do not need to pay too much attention on the number of views or likes of the podcast that doesn't really matter honestly a lot, of people, a lot of people feel in podcasting because they care too much about the views and the likes that they get. Just don't think too much about it and continue to produce your podcast. If you have this kind of positive attitude and mindset, which is the culture of uh, Fairview International School, Subang Jaya, I guarantee you, you will eventually succeed. <laughs> right. So ignore the hateful or offensive comments when you see them, because yeah, you eventually will see them uh, on your in your podcasting journey. So yeah, just forget about them. Uh, or if you if if you think that they are just generally really inappropriate, just report them using the social media platform that you are on. Remember, haters are gonna hate. So you might as well just forget about them and continue to make your podcast happily with a smile. All right. So uh, that is pretty much the end of the guide on how to start a, uh, on how to start and make a podcast. Well, well, well. <laughs> Look at you. Um, yeah. Well, well, well. Look at you, my dear audience. All ready to be a podcaster right now. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and start recording and upload your podcast for the whole world to see. Before I end today's talk, I would like to clarify one thing. Today's talk is just a general and brief description on podcasting. There are many more things that you have to learn yourself. And as you continue on your, you know, as you continue through your podcast journey, you will eventually figure them out. So I uh, just continue to explore. All right. And remember, there is no fixed rules on podcasting as podcasting is constantly evolving. Right. So I have came to the end of my presentation on podcasting, and I would like to sincerely thank the audience for their attention and their participation, uh, participate, participation. All right. So um, back to you, Miss Shelley. Well then, Keljin, on your amazing presentation, you have shown your agency in continually developing your podcasting skills and act independently to make your own free choices. I feel inspired to be a podcaster now, and I'm sure our audience feel the same way. If you agree with me, our dear audience, please give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. See, Keljin, you inspired them. Well done. <laughs> yes, I think Keljin has a number of fans today. And I think he will have more subscribers to his YouTube channel <laughs> after today's session. Yeah, you will yes. get a lot of likes and subscription today. <laughs> uh, thank you. Again, uh, this, this is the link to my YouTube channel. I'm going to paste it into the chat. Once again, here it is. Just uh, click onto it and it should direct you uh, to my YouTube channel and all of the videos. So yeah, so thank you. <laughs> all right, thank you. Thank you, our dear audience. Um, students here in Fairview International School learn multiple skills, not just academically, but also real world skills such as effective verbal and written communication skills, video editing skills, 
and social media etiquette. And I am sure that for all of you in the audience, parents, family, and friends of our students believe that this is very important for a lifelong learning. Please allow me to brief some information about the organizer for today's talk. Fairview International School is the top IB school in Malaysia. The school has won multiple awards, including the International Award in Teaching and Learning, the Five Stars Quality Assurance title by the Malaysian government, as well as being one of the member of the Council of International School, CIS. Fairview successes include smooth career transitions, high academic success, and great communication. Our high academic achievement is obvious by just looking through our latest IBDP results. Besides the extremely high average score, we also have 100% passing score for seven years. At Fairview, we believe our successes is a result of unique, uniqueness through our IB pedagogies, our Prosper at Fairview International series of events, and everyone's a musician program. Feel free to contact us through the different channels display on the screen. Once again, thank you so much for joining us, and we would love you to be part of our Fairview International School community. Um, before that, I think we have a few questions from the crowd. So I would like to now open the floor for question and answer sessions. And I see Toya has his hand up physically and also virtually. Toya, you can't wait. Okay. Yes, guys. Take I, away. I, yes, guys. <laughs> has any questions? Hit me with them right now. Right, right now, right here. Uh, okay. Uh, I like the part that I that the video it was very funny and I know and I know that in the video I saw Lim Chi okay. your mm -hmm. little sister. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um yes. uh, so, so I enjoyed it. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, thank you. Are there any questions? So, yeah, just wants to give you um, props for being good and confident. So, I have a private message from uh, Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan, yes. Uh, he said, uh, one question. Why is it so good? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, why is it so good? Um, well, I guess that uh, I just put my heart and my soul uh, into my podcast, you know, whenever you put your heart and soul into anything, it just makes it really, really good. You know? So yeah, but so this, this doesn't just apply to podcasting, you know, it applies to everything, everything that you do. If you are truly passionate about something, make sure you put your heart and your soul into it. Okay. And I guarantee you, it's going to be absolutely amazing. So um, other questions? Oh, yes. Uh, there's another question from uh, Singron. Uh, she asked tips on confidence. Wow. Oh, this is a really, really subjective one. Yeah. Okay. Tips on confidence. Okay. So I can't give you a really, really accurate answer because, uh, the, because many people improve their confidence through many different ways because we are all different. But for me, uh, every day, if, if you want to improve on your confidence, first of all, you have to think positively. If you're gonna fill your mind with a lot of negative thoughts uh, and so on, then you, you're never gonna be confident, okay? Think positively and always look forward, okay? Always look forward. After you, reflect, after you reflect on the past, forget about it and just look forward. And if you really, really, really want to be extra confident, okay? Um, okay, I'm gonna share you a secret right here. Every day uh, when I wake up uh, during the morning, I'll go to my uh, mirror and like stare at myself saying, oh man, you're looking really good today, Kaljin. 
Yes, <laughs> that will increase your confidence tenfold. <laughs> All right. It's also called self-talk, which is a very good tool to actually boost your self-esteem, everyone. So Kelgin does it. So I'm sure that's the secret of his success. Why he's so confident today and brimming with passion. Yes. Okay. There's right. some more so questions. I think uh, somebody's putting up their hand. Oh yeah, there are also a lot of questions in the chat too. <laughs> okay, shall we shall we allow some of the audience who are putting up their hands to ask their questions first? Uh, yeah, I think Mr. Oh, yeah, so Martin. Mr. Martin, yeah, Mr. Martin, please ask your question. Hi, I'm sorry, this isn't well. Mr. Martin is here, but this is Miss Liz. Hi. Oh, <laughs> um, hi, Miss Liz. <laughs> okay. Hi. Um, yeah, I'll just start my video. Um, we were just wondering, Kelvin, what do you use for inspiration for ideas for your podcasts? Oh, what do you, what do I use for inspirations? Okay, so um, honestly, I I don't have a particular particular specific tool for inspiration. I usually get my inspiration from uh, daily stuff. You know, uh, when I whenever. Uh, I like maybe walk around the street and I see, hey, this is a really good topic that I could, you know, talk about. And then I'll, you know, slowly develop the script and then go and make a podcast out of it. Another great way of getting your inspiration is by looking at the news. On the news, there are a lot of topics, all right, from all the way from economics to, I don't know, investment, uh, politics, but uh, I would, I would, well, um, recommend you to avoid the politics part because for well, obvious reasons, I'm not, I'm, I'm not authorized to say it here. Okay. I don't want to get, <laughs> don't get in trouble. Uh, I want to get, okay. <laughs> I still want to leave. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's fair enough. <laughs> yes. But um, uh, just, just, you can, you can look at the news for inspiration. Okay. That's my, that's my best advice. Oh, good thank, advice. Good advice. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so uh, Mr. Azam has asked a question in the chat. Uh, Mr. Azam, would you like to, uh, oh wait, oh, sorry, sorry. That wasn't a question, sorry, sorry. My mistake, my mistake. That's not a question. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, are there any more questions? Some more questions were uh, asked by Shinren. Did she ask a question just now, earlier? I already answered that. It's about the confidence one, remember? Oh, all right, okay. So uh, yes, is uh, Hamza raising uh, his hand? Uh, yeah, that's my name, Hamza. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And also, I like the part that that people are interesting interested about that podcast. Mm -hmm. so, I'm sorry. I like the. I said I like the part where that people were interested about that podcast. Uh, are you having a question or a statement, dear? Uh, um, could you, if you have a question, could you type it in the chat? I can't. Uh, yeah, maybe your internet is a bit yeah. glitchy. Thank you. There's a question from Min Lao too. So maybe okay. while Hamza is typing. We oh, can okay. So yeah, Min Lao, uh, he, uh, he has, uh, okay. This person has asked, how do you spare time for your podcast? Ah, podcasting. Okay, this, honestly, I, I would like to tell you uh, something that is that a lot of people have this uh, misconception where they, they think they do not have enough time to do this. But honestly, it's just whether or not if you want to do it. You get what I mean? A, a lot. So for example, uh, okay, I, I'm pretty lazy. Okay, I, I don't like to exercise a lot. <laughs> and uh, my father is always like sometimes nagging about me, telling me to go, you know, go jogging, go jogging. And I, I always say, hey, hey, I, I don't have time. I have a lot of work, a lot of uh, stuff to do. But uh, honestly, um, now when I whenever I reflect on those scenarios, I, I actually I found that I did in fact have time. It's just that I didn't want to do it. So, so honestly, it's just about there's there's no time constraints. Honestly, if you truly want to do something, then you definitely will find the time to do it. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's my answer. Okay, so Hamza has finished typing his answer. Uh, I like the part that people are interested in podcasts. Oh, so it's not, it's just a statement, not a, <laughs> not a question, okay. Right, so are there any more questions? Okay. 
Thank you everyone for those who raised up their questions. And now we would also love to hear some feedback or comments about Kelgen's presentation. Please feel free to unmute your mic or type it in our chat box. Thank you. And I believe um, the parents of Kelgen is also here to support us. May we invite Mr. and Mrs. Lim to give us some feedback about the presentation tonight. Hello, hi, uh, I'm born here, uh, fathers of uh, born in Kelchin. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, overall, I really like uh, this uh, the whole session um, because I, I do think that it's a very good platform to, um, pro, to, to the students you know, to, for them to gain experience as well as you know, to have the chance of doing the public speaking, which is uh, not a regular kind of opportunity that we have. You know, uh, I mean, I compare to myself back to my academic time so yeah uh, i do think uh, this kind of like activities are really you know helpful and um, it, it it helps the student to learn more and have different kind of exposure so uh, by the way well done Kyojin. i really like your podcast <laughs> thank you thank you Aww, thank you that's such a proud daddy there Kyojin. thank mm. you so much mr bond welcome Sorry. Yeah, I think we've got a few um, messages in our chat from your classmates, um, Shinran and Jolene, who are saying how you did a very good job and very interactive and very interesting. Right, and thank you. yeah, and we've had a very nice comment here by uh, Miss, Mr. Martin or Ms. Liz or together. Kelgin has grown and improved so much over the years. I have known him. He's such a natural speaker and the presentation was just brilliant. Yeah. We're both here. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and then, um, Miss, our principal, I'll let her read to you what she wrote. Kajin, congratulations. We are very proud of you. Um, very inspiring, interactive, and informative sessions. We hope that many, you no know, students, teachers, and parents will start their podcast today after inspired by you, and we can organize a podcast competition yes we can explore that idea is very good if we have That's more and more people yeah, yeah sure <laughs> let's do it let's do it <laughs> <laughs> the bar is set quite high by Kelgin. so mm. you know it's a tough mountain can, getting there you can be too if you want <laughs> or you can be their mentor <laughs> yeah oh yeah sure sure either way is fine <laughs> fantastic okay and then we have a few more comments um, from your friends, all saying how they... Oh, we have something from your ex-teacher, Mr. Azam. Would you like to switch on your camera? Please, Mr. Azam. Okay, let me pin Mr. Azam. All right. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a very interesting. I like the way you carry yourself in front of the camera. In fact, I see a lot of improvement since the last time you did your podcast and when you record your video, because from what I remember, Kelzin, he likes to record video and audio for his reflection. So I can see his growth from the previous year up until now. And Kelzin is, you improved <laughs> a lot. I'm so proud of you. And thank you for inviting me for today. Okay, yeah. All right. Thank you so much, teacher. Thank you for the comments. <laughs> So he's, you're still getting a lot of love from your teachers, even after, you know, they're no longer teaching you. So um, I think, uh, is there any more questions or comments from the audience? Um, would you please leave it on the chat? If there is none, then um, we would like to invite Miss T to share um, her thoughts before we end today's session. Thank you once again, all parents, students who join us today. A big thank you and congratulations to Kelhin. Very good sessions. And we hope our students can present more sessions to you in, uh, in the future. Um, before we end the session, can we all switch on the camera so that we can take a nice, good group photo? Uh, if 
if you want to have a photo with me, that is the good, uh, that is the best chance, okay? <laughs> this part is a lifetime chance, all right? Photo okay. with Kaojin, come on. Yeah, okay. Let's take a photo now. I will be taking it on my side, okay, everyone? Okay, let me have on my first part of the screen now. Okay, everybody want to smile? Okay, next, please stay there. Okay, next batch, please turn on your camera. Can okay. we all have your thumbs up and then take a group picture? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. One, two, three, smile. Okay, one more on the other side. One, two, three, smile. Okay, Someone, some of them didn't turn on their camera. <laughs> You must be shy. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for making the time to join us in today's um, student-led talk. Um, there'll be plenty more coming from Fairview International School as we share with you the passions of our students. Um, do look forward and do look out for our uh, invites from us in the near future. So again, thank you so much for making the time. I wish you all a very good evening and a very good weekend. Stay safe. Goodbye, everybody.